welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Today we're going to be doing a nice uh, interesting painting. I hope you can follow along with me. So let me run the colors across the screen. Now you don't need to paint along with me. They'll be in the same order I have them on my palette starting with my white all the way to my yellow. Now let me tell you what I got then up here. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas pre-stretched double prime and I added a thin layer of the liquid white. Rather than that it's slick, it's wet, it's ready to go. We could get started with today's painting. I thought today we would do something like we originally do, just a little different, you know? Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get crazy. I'm going to go into the slightest touch of a lizard and crimson. Lightest. Tap it both sides in your brush. Let's come up here and it's a nice pinkish color due to the very little amount of crimson. I don't want to put too much crimson on there because there's nothing wrong with putting more, but I don't want this part of the sky to be dark red. I just want it to be a little pinkish glow. So just doing X marks. Go across. Now, I'm going to go into a little bit more crimson. More than what I did last time. Let's come up here. A little bit more noticeable. That's okay. Now I'm going to go into some crimson and phthalo blue. Just to make this nice lavender color. Let's come up here. Just crisscross, crisscross applesauce. And then take it completely through phthalo blue. Okay, just like so. Now, let's go ahead, let's grab a clean dry two inch brush. And let's just go ahead and blend this out. So just blending these two where they meet. Blending the purple with the red. Once you go to the blue or the purple, don't bring it back to the light pink without cleaning your brush. Now you can Clean your brush with paint thinner. You could clean your brush with oil paint. I mean, oil paint. You could clean your brush with some oil. Recommended some linseed oil. Um, a mixture of oil, water, and soap, I believe. I forgot what I have in my mixture. I just know I have my mixture in there. And just like that, you have yourself a nice little sky glowing up in there. Now, let me go ahead and grab a palette knife. Sorry about that. I just forgot them. In a different place and I had to go retrieve them again <laughs> okay so a little bit of ivory black and slightest touch of white these are gonna be distant um, distant little mountain hills 
a bit of brown in there. Cut a roll. You'll get that nice little roll of paint on the edge of your knife. Now, let's decide where you want your mountains to live. just kind of pick them out and you just care about that outside edge so just like so you can hear how tough I'm scratching into the canvas I just want a stain on there I don't want and I want tons of paint under. Maybe. Let's go ahead. Let's just scratch it on. Season 10 already. Time goes by quick. Okay. Something like so. Now, let me beat my brush a bit. <laughs> makes it fun I have this section of my house just specially for painting so it does get a bit messy here I often have to uh, scrub dried paint off my floors and all that but it's okay it's meant to get a bit messy, at least for me. But when you guys are doing it, I would recommend you do it outdoors. Or do it somewhere where you put like a little plastic on the floor. Because it will get messy at times. At least for me, with my experiences. So I'm just pulling out the paint. Just... Due to the liquid white, you can move and drag this paint along. Just like so. Okay. Now, maybe, maybe, um, Maybe it's a bit too far for lots of details, but I want a little bit of grass going up on there, you know? So, I'm going to grab a one inch. Little cadmium yellow sap green mixture going on. And I just want the lightest indication. I don't look for much detail. It's... It's going to be a far, far mountain, hill, whatever it is. I'm not searching for, for details. Just like so. Just a little bit more. Cadmium yellow. Maybe even a little yellow ochre. You now let's just change things up a bit. Back to cadmium yellow, sap green. But follow the angle. My angle is going this way or this way, however you want to perceive it. So. That's how I'm making the grass uh, go. That's the direction I'm taking the angle. Okay, just like so. Got yourself some nice grass growing up on, on your mountain. Maybe it's infested with grass, too much grass. Okay, so now let's go ahead let me go into some ivory black with that same one inch brush. Same dirty brush. Just come up here. Just with the corner of your brush, just pull down. 
we're gonna paint in distant little trees now I know it doesn't look like it because of that rounded edge but we'll fix it up right now and it'll look a-okay so just pull down pull down that paint go across and then which the trick is grab your brush lift it up very gently you don't want to pull too much because then it'll go drastically you can grab it from the side too really doesn't matter you just want to pull up gently not too much pressure Okay, just like so. And then you can pull this down to remove that line. Go across and you have yourself some distant trees, just like that. Quick, simple, easy. Now, let's go ahead. Let's add some land. So I'm going to use that same two inch brush and I'm going to decide you know what? Let's add some water. How's that sound? I'm gonna go into a little bit of crimson though. So some crimson, just, just to kind of reflect what's going up there. Okay. Pull outward, inwards. There we go. Now back to phalo blue. Just pull the same way. Just pull that paint. Pull and move that paint. So just just like so. Let's come up here. Let's blend it out a bit. Just cover up that just enough to where your likings. So again, going back to creating some land, I think our land stops here. I'm, I'm just going to step back a sec, kind of have loose strokes somewhere around there, load up some more paint maybe. You can push up on the brush. It'll give you those nice little effects. Same thing, downward. You can use it as reflections. Okay. Now, you know what? Let's just bring this out all the way here. And... Maybe, maybe there lives a bush or two right out here. No, maybe another one there. Got to think of the shape a bit. Sorry if I get quiet on you guys. It's just... I'm so used to when painting, just listening to music, relaxing, having a good time, which you guys should do too. It makes it more fun. And um, I'm not used to always chatting when painting. Don't get me wrong. It is fun to do. I was going to say it's not fun, but that would be contradicting to what I'm saying. It's fun what I do. It's just after 
10 seasons, I'm still not used to it. Might take me 30 <laughs> at the pace I'm going at. So I'm just scrubbing on some some basic uh, base color. What I mean by base color is just dark enough color to when I put my highlights on, it'll stand out. So just scrub. Scrub over here a bit. Scrub over there. You just want a basic coverage. Okay? Now, let's go ahead. Let's highlight this. Let's go into cadmium yellow and sap green. Same dirty brush. Some sap green. Okay? A little bit of the liquid white. Just to thin out that paint. Load up enough paint on your brush, both sides, and let's come up here. You, this is to show you guys, you don't have to paint grass or highlight grass with the two inch brush. You can do it with the one inch. It just takes a bit extra time, but I don't mind taking that extra time today. Okay, just like so. When you have to reload your brush, don't wait. Your paintings come out good when you use enough paint. So don't be shy to use your paint. You gotta know how to let go and just, just Use all the paint you bought. Paints that you buy are made to be used, not to be stored. So feel free to use up the paint you might be having. You might be saving off to the corner. I'm that way, but with um, with my brushes. I'll store the brushes I like, but I shouldn't be that way. Okay, I like where where I'm at right now. I like the way it looks. Let's go ahead. Let's add some grass reflections here, just by. Pushing the bristles upwards. Same over here. Very lightly. Very lightly and go across. Now, let's go ahead. Let me clean my knife off. I'm going to some Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to use a more sturdy knife. That knife bends a lot. So let's go ahead. Actually, let's let's pull some reflections. Just like so. Very gently. Gentle, gentle. You're barely touching the canvas. Let's add some dirt. It needs something to sit on. Shoot. Just like so. Okay. Load up your knife again. And 
just like so let's put a little dirt out here in the little island okay I think I like where this is going now let's go ahead let's go back to highlight our grass so just by tapping now actually let's go ahead let's let's um highlight these bushes so pull one side your brush through one direction sorry about that one direction just pull it through it'll curve aside a bit but you have to load up a little bit liquid white just so it's a bit more thinned out and think about think about um, the shape of the bush don't just put it all at random you gotta think like a bush shoot oh yeah that's that's gorgeous little extra highlights here and there okay so going back little sapling more liquid white A little bit more sap green. You mix it up to the color of your liking. There we go. Just very, very lightly. And then you can fill in some of those uneven gaps. Okay. Now, let's put in some water lines. Some titanium white. Cut a roll of paint, as you can see on the edge of the knife right there. And just very lightly. Let's add a few ripples here and there. Maybe out in the nowhere. Okay, now let's go ahead, let's add an uh, evergreen tree. I think a tree lives in this painting. So load your brush with ivory black, load both sides good. Let's come up here, let's decide, shoom. Maybe this one slanted. Okay. And then just lightly tap back and forth. Just going side to side. Okay. Same thing for the other side. Ok, 
Okay. Now, if this were to get too too thick at the top, just grab your pet knife and scrub scrub a little stand. If not, grab some paint. Same color paint and just do it right there. Boom. Quick, easy little trick. Okay, load up your brush with some highlight color. Okay, let's come up here. Let me actually put a tree trunk up in there. It's Van Dyke Brown and some white. Maybe, maybe it hits a little here and just few spots. Sorry if I'm in the way. Just hits a few spots here and there. Let's come up here. Okay. Load up your brush. Just go back and forth. Now, you gotta highlight the other tree. I usually tend to do a dark green. Usually evergreens are a nice, rich, dark color. So I don't try to make them too bright. Then I'll fix up the base a bit. Okay. And last thing before I leave. Let's go ahead. Van Dyke Brown. Let's cut a roll. Let's, let's just put in a big old tree. Right around there. Okay. Shoot. And then just a few little highlights. Just ever so gently. It's the Van Dyke Brown and White. That I used earlier. Okay. Fix up the base and you have a finished painting. I really hope you try this painting out and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to wish each and every one of you the best of luck and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, my friend. Goodbye.